Good morning and welcome to the car vlog. I am Devin and today is flippin' cold. Holy crap, it has been freezing some of these mornings and I've just had to get up early every other morning. Well, not early. When I say early, I'm talking like 7 o'clock. That's early for me. I know a lot of people get up earlier and I feel sorry for you. I really do. Um, <laughs> but sure, it's, it's getting ice, ice cold. But uh, we make it through it. I actually prefer the winter to summer. Um, I prefer being able to dress up warm rather than having to dress lighter, I guess. I put it into perspective for work because I heat up quite quickly as a person. I'm a very, a very warm body heat. And uh, during the summer, it's ridiculous to find clothes that actually breathe and because you, know, you have to wear longs for, for work. And, smart shirts and all that sort of stuff and it gets really hot and uncomfortable and clothes start to sag and wada 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 bottom line is i prefer winter mostly because there's snowboarding involved if i can get to a ski slope somewhere which would be awesome which reminds me i'm going to be going to afri ski next week i'm so flipping excited i get to dust my my snowboard off that i got from the us and uh i can't wait it's gonna be awesome oh i'm so excited and uh, so that, that's quite cool. I did my first paintball tournament as well in the cold. Holy shit. That is, that is cold. Because that we had to get up really early for as well. And uh, on a Sunday. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but that was kind, kind of fun. And um, sure, we, we didn't win. But we did really well, I think. We won the fastest, fastest team on the field. We beat the other team in 19 seconds. Booyah. And uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. But anyway, oh, you know, when I do these car vlogs, I think, what am I going to talk about today? What? What could I possibly have of value that I could talk about today? And there's so much that happens during the week that I think, oh, I must talk about that in our car vlog. I think it'd be an awesome topic to talk about. Um, but the one thing I did talk, uh, did want to talk about, was Lazy Gamer posted an article about uh, the length of a game versus the value that you get out of it. Do you think games are long enough nowadays? Uh, and we're getting a lot of these people who are saying, you know, the game length is about five hours, uh, six hours, or, you know, it goes to eight hours, eight to 12 hours. And some people, even for that, even eight to 12 hours, some people say that's not long enough for a game. And it got me thinking, you know, it's, it's so, for me, I, ca I can't finish a game. I may finish a game in five hours, but remember, most people when they say finishing a game in five hours it's over a couple of days maybe even two weeks I know for me I don't always get the chance to sit down and play a game for five hours it's it just doesn't happen for me um, and everybody's complaining about the price of games uh, you know where you buy your $5.99 or your $6.99 for a game and then you only get five to six hours out of the game um, and you know fair enough it's, it's expensive but you know I think people need to look at it in relative to everything else that's out there. Gaming is not gaming. Let's put it out there. Gaming is a luxury item. You are you are buying gaming because you want to be entertained, and it's like you know, movies to me are expensive. Going to watch a movie at uh, at Monty or whatever, and in 3D, it's like 65 rand for a movie ticket. I remember back in the day where I could pay 12 rand to go watch a movie. None of those days. But uh, you see what I mean? It's just, you know, the relative type of thing that you're getting out of a movie. Um, with games, though, you know, there's that there's a lot of things that you've got to take into account. The interactivity, the multiplayer side of things. Even though I have a bit of an issue with certain games, including multiplayer in their games. Um, I take, I was actually chatting to one of my colleagues the other day about um, books. If you buy a book, books I know are quite expensive. I mean, I'm not a big reader, but I know that books can range anywhere between 230 Rand to 500 Rand, depending on the book, depending on the author, that sort of thing. And then, you notice most people who read regularly can clock books in, uh, in maybe five hours as well. And now, uh, have you got, have you got the, your values worth out of that money for that book? Uh, and I think about now, I think about my paintball actually. You know, my paintball, 19 seconds for a game, that's how long it lasted. A box of paint will cost me 350 Rand to 400 Rand for a box of paint. That box of paint 
will last me maybe maybe the day. That's how many boxes of paint did we go through in the tournament? We went through four boxes of paint. Now there's 2,000 paints paintballs in a box, and uh, we played four four games. Each game lasted maybe maybe a minute and a half. So that's what that's 800, 1,200 rand down the drain in four four minutes. Yeah. See, so I think. You know, you've got to look at it in your in your terms of your retrospect. I mean, if you want to be part of a game and this is what you've got to look at, you've got to say, okay, cool, well, you know, it's something I, lo- I love to do. Maybe I've got to be more selective about my games. And I think that's a big problem with a lot of people. A lot of people just, it's like, especially game, game of point, game score whores. People who want to go and, like, increase their game of score by huge amounts. And it's like, oh, no, that's, that, that's... I need to have every single game to do that. I remember that I used to do that. I used to do that a big time, um, even before I used to work for Mega Room. So before any of you start going, oh, but you get your games for free, what, 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 Before I started working for Mega Room, I used to buy every single game that came out when the Xbox 360 was launched. Every single game. You can go check my, my game list. I have, I have a lot of the launch titled games on my, on my list, and I try to get 1,000 points for each of them as well. And then I got to the point where I realized that I was just buying games for points, not for the enjoyment of it. Um, and I think this, you know, it's a consumer decision. You've got to decide whether or not this game is going to be something that's worthwhile for you. Uh, it's also a pity that a lot of games don't get the recognition that they should, uh, especially for story. People forget that games, although games are there to entertain, games also have, they're like, they kind of are like books. It's a story that you're being told. And people who complain about games being five to six hours long, you gotta remember, it's it is a story. There's there's a progression to it. I mean, movies tell a story as well, and they're only maximum two hours long. Um, you know, and there's no break in between that either. So, you know, you, how long can you really stretch a story out for? How long can you waffle on about nonsense? RPGs look they're a little bit different. You know, those are mini stories within a bigger story, all convoluted into one big thing, and you can add on stories. But you now. I worry about, I mean, I don't know if there's any writers that watch this or, or anybody who, who's an editor or anything like that. We all, you know, you can only keep that strand of your story going for so long until it becomes waffling and not talking about any sense in your story and you lose the plot uh, or your characters don't develop properly or, or something like that. So I think, I think for me that's an important thing to, to take into consideration. For me a five hour game is, is long because I don't play it in one sitting. I play it over a couple of nights, and I enjoy it, and I, I, I get involved with the story. So you know, for me, that's that's just my opinion. I honestly don't think a game. Okay, maybe a game that's two hours long, or like a game. For me, a game that's too short is a game that I felt like. You know, I didn't get enough uh, meat out of it. I didn't get enough content. Like I didn't feel like there was a good enough story for me to really keep going with it. So uh, those are the sort of things I would say you need to consider when, when buying a story. Uh, sure, and I also worry about you know people who say that they completed a game in five hours. Did they rush through it? Did they play it on like easy or pudding level where they just walked through everything and it was like, oh, this game is just... And then, then you're a troll. Then you're a troll and you can go, go do something else. Because then you're not enjoying the game at all. You're just playing it to say, oh, I did it this, in this amount of time. It's like the people who finished Diablo in ridiculous amounts of time. Sure, you can, you can pace through that game if you want to, just from one objective to the next. But if you don't explore and find out, there's so many little quests and bonuses in Diablo as well. It's just, it, it goes on forever. And I've played it now, oh, I've played that first level like 10 times now. And there's, there's always something like a new quest available, there's new bonuses that you can go check out you must go talk to the villagers they got all interesting stories but yeah i don't know for me you know the value if you take the equation of how much it costs for a game and just take into consideration what the game is trying to tell you what the story is then i think you'll appreciate the story more i don't think i don't i honestly don't think we need longer games i couldn't i would be bored i would lose the plot i need games that are going to be tight and you know, the, the content's strong and the characters are real for me. Uh, I don't, you know, there's only so many people you can take into a, into a story so that you don't lose track of who's doing what or what. I mean, it's not a, 
come on, games aren't bold and the beautiful, let's be honest. Um, so yeah, but that's my little rant on, uh, on what I thought about games and their content. I will say, oh, this might be my last car vlog for a little while, not, not like end of end, uh, just for a little while. I have to send my GoPro in for service because I've been overusing it. <laughs> no, there seems to be a fault with the, the speaker and the microphone, so I have to send that in. Hopefully I'll get a new one soon, but in the meantime, what I will do is I will start recording stuff in my studio and uh, we'll do little vlogs there and uh, see how it goes. But yeah, anyways, you guys have been awesome. Thank you for watching. Stay cool. If you have any comments on uh, what you thought about game length, uh, just post them in the comments below. Like my video and uh, yeah, subscribe. Cool. Ciao. I'm in the Modern Warfare 3 Jeep.